Hi, I'm Brad Plummer, and this is the Word of the Week. This week's word is tomography. Tomography is an imaging technique used to peer inside three-dimensional objects, generally using x-rays. Let's see, mummies, fossilized insects, living people. There are many kinds of tomography, and all of them make images by taking individual slices through the object being studied. In medicine, tomography is best known as a CT, or CAT scan, which stands for computed tomography. Ooh, check me out, I'm all tomographed. At SLAC, researchers are on the cutting edge of tomographic imaging, using x-rays to make CAT scans of extremely tiny objects. Extremely tiny. I talked to SSRL scientist Joy Hader to find out more. So how is this different from uh, medical CT scans? Well, it's mostly a matter of scale. They're looking at larger things. We can't really look at someone's brain. People, in our for instance. Yeah, it wouldn't fit. So it sounds like the key word here is nano. This is actually called a nano X CT, X ray CT, which is the X ray analog for this type of CT that they use in a doctor's office. Which brings us back to tomography. What is tomography? Tomography is when you look at a sample from a lot of different angles, you take different images at different angles. For example, if you're being x-rayed at the airport, you've got all these things that you're going to see at the same time. Only by turning it are we able to see what's specifically in the back, and we can also get chemical information. This would have different x-ray properties than the paper. The metal in the paper would be different. So there's chemical information that comes from it, and a nice, greedy picture of what's going on from tomography. And this is mouse bone, so this is a sample from a mouse. Yeah, and it's a collaboration between NASA and Cornell, and they're studying what happens to these cells when the mice are weightless, or when they are irradiated, or when they don't have enough vitamin D, for example. Awesome, Joy. Thanks, thanks again right. for uh, taking some time and showing us your, your work. You're welcome. For Slack, I'm Brad Plummer, and this has been the Word of the Week.